You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much How can I tell you what I want? Hey everybody! Hey. So, we are on our way to Paris! Excited and a little quiet because it's just daddy uh, and mommy. Where are the kids? <laughs> There's no kids, There's no babies. The babies are with grandma, thank God for grandma. And um, so she's got all three of the kids with her guys. Like, just pray for my mama. Uh -huh. I'm praying for her, but um, she's amazing. The fact that she was able to do this for us. So we can now go on our five year anniversary. You picked Florence, love. Because it's dead romantic, isn't it? It's dead romantic. Small, it's cute. There's it's so much by to see. England. So much artwork. Are we going on to it? Yeah. And yeah, it's really good. So we're just catching the train from Pisa Airport to Pisa Central, and from Pisa Central we are catching another train that takes about an hour, and that gets yeah. us to Florence. Piazza della Signoria, Palazzo Vecchio, Ponte Vecchio, Palazzo Pitti, Uffizi and Galleria dell'Accademia. Are those the recommended places? Yes, the most important things that you can visit. Ok, so he's coming at the porter to help you with your luggage and to show you the room. anniversary trip and I'm yeah. loving it this place is beautiful Glorious. Sam knows everything Glorious. about it so I'm it's gonna leave him yeah what's the plan today man? so uh, today we got in in the afternoon so we're Landed. just going for a walk you know head to the Duomo do a ride Piazza San Giovanni shopping. head to the river no shopping shopping no shopping but we have to do shopping window here. shopping obviously window shopping because you're in Italy so you they've have got to do some, some beautiful shopping. shoes here because my shoe obviously is I have very large feet so every time I shop in the UK I've noticed a lot of the shoes says made in Italy so I'm like we're in Italy now so I should be able to find my <laughs> shoe size that's like my mission to find some really beautiful yeah. Italian shoes but yeah so we're just taking a little stroll we're gonna look for some ice cream and take a view of the sunshine yeah. Yeah. You need to hit the gelato if you're in Florence. You do. I'm going to go 360. Ready there we go. go. One, two, we go. So it's a piece of art. I've got my big camera on me today, that's why I've got it around my chest just to see if I can get some nicer pictures today. That's my hope. And you saw this little carousel that made me miss our baby. I know, no would love that. He loves horses. I do. Even when I saw the guy with the balloons, I was like, oh my gosh, I actually miss them. We've spoken to them about three times already today, and they're having a great time. They're all with grandma. Thank God for grandmas, guys. Oh, yeah. Like for oh, grandmas, yeah. for family who just help out. So, you know, mama and papa can have a little. Alone time, but yeah, we miss our babies. We no, we don't, <laughs> not right we now. Do. I miss them, I miss them, but yeah, so we're just gonna do some walking. I'll show you guys around, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful place. And hopefully, give you guys some ideas who plan on coming here as well. Pistachio. Classic. So there's so many ice cream places on the bridge, Ponte Vecchio, but we found this little place which is absolutely awesome. So if you're in Florence, don't go to the ones on the bridge, come here. Wow. It's, what's it called? Cantina Cantina de Gelato. Cantina yeah. de gelato.
have you been walking for, love? About five minutes. <laughs> no, I think we've been walking for like a good hour. We took a few no, stops for no, shopping and ice cream. <laughs> we're walking slowly, so it's not far from you know the center to Piazza Michelangelo. Great place to watch the sunset. So uh, it's a bit of a climb. Everyone knows Michelangelo. Everyone knows Michelangelo. And most of you know from previous vlogs, Sam is the historian so in Sam our marriage. So Sam just Google stuff, no, he just, and then he, he like knows this so. stuff. Like he actually knows. <laughs> like we were walking, I'm just like looking for the next I shop no or something to eat, and then he's like, "Oh, babe, this is where World War Summer Summer happened. This is where this happened." That was the other guy, not me. No, that was you, baby. You love history. Go. What are we doing? More walking. Somewhere. More walking, we're going all the way up there. motorbike and had to take a moment to appreciate it. My BTR 1000. BTR what? BTR 1000 SP2. So I couldn't find Sam for a moment and then I thought where would he be? Where people are playing basketball and there he is right there. Great, so we've walked back from Piazza Michelangelo and now we're back to the gorgeous Palazzo dei Pitti. Just, you know, down the road from the Ponte Vecchio. Obviously, I like to eat, right? So I did a bit of homework, found a fantastic restaurant, great wine selection. And, you know, it's not like a traditional trattoria style, but the food is good, it's local. Uh, locally sourced, great wine. So you reserved uh, this restaurant from the UK? Yeah. Is this it? Oh yeah. What does dry mean when you're talking about wine? So uh, dry is like what you feel on your tongue, on the sides of your tongue, which is like the dryness is the, they're called tannins mm -hmm. in the wine. Give you that dry kind of flavor. I know Sam's like a wine expert, he knows so much about wine. So we had some tasters, I got a little right. taste, I don't know what I've got. As I don't really, I actually don't even drink, but um, I'm trying it's to... It's blackcurrant juice! <laughs> trying to teach me the fine art of wine. And, um, I think I'll pass. I'm all about my H2O. <laughs> Yeah, you're lucky you married me. Is that a me. thumbs up, love? Is that, was that a thumbs up on that He's one? He's so happy you married me because I'm not really, I don't really drink every time we go out. I'm like, I just have water or orange juice. Whoa, 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 correct. Because we're in Florence, we thought we'd try something different. Water like, ain't cheap. Water costs more than petrol. What is true? How do you give people tips on how to pick wine? So, uh, quick tip, my quick tip is fat. F double A T, which is fruit, acid, alcohol, tannins. So, when the flower man comes by and your husband says, Baby, are we gonna get one? <laughs> and your husband says, No. Even on our five year anniversary, we don't get the flower man flowers. Flower man overpriced flowers. <laughs> We've just got nowhere to put them. We haven't got a vase. Good, good excuse. Thank you. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart. What is it that? 
would you do? My life was great till you added so all the love babies. Babies. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others You said my world on fire I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay. We're going in full like anniversary theme, so we're rocking this this morning. And Sam's got one too. I got him one. You like it, baby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm addicted to the love that you're giving. You got me, you got me good. You got me, you got me good Ooh, Oh babe All I'm thinking about is when you We woke up extra early this morning, what time did you do? It's a, just before 9 o'clock, well just after 9 o'clock now but... We should have to rush out here because yeah. this amazing husband of mine has started this holiday with tours It's all about culture So we're just going to wake up, go for another walk, enjoy the town and stuff like we have to be up. We have to go now. This is my schedule. Who else has a husband who like plans everything for a trip? I mean, I like planning stuff, but mine are usually more relaxing stuff. But Sam, we've got this tour and then we've got another tour as well. Like yeah, the yeah. Park. So this one is the Uffizi Gallery. <laughs> Uh, you know, a lot of artwork, sculptures, the Renaissance, and then the second one is, you know, just go around around Florence. So How taking long is it all in. Uh, it should be about two hours. Two hours. And we've got these little mics so we can hear the tour guide. So she can speak to us in English. Roger, Roger. <laughs> There's loads of people here. Look, this place is like so popular. Let me see if I can find the sign. So we are here. How do you pronounce that love? Uffizi. Galleria Uffizi. So if you're in Florence, this is definitely one place to visit. You can see it's so, so popular with tourists. So we've been in the queue for about 10 minutes. We're just about to head in. I'm not sure what the rules are with regards to filming. So I'll see how it goes. If I can film some bits, I will. If not, you'll just see us when we head out. So we're about to go into the security. Check it out. High tech security. Here we go. Right, so we're just about to start the tour. We can film, which is okay as long as there's no flash photography. But warning, there's a lot of nudity. Like in those days, <laughs> you know, yeah, <laughs> Renaissance, <laughs> Renaissance. <laughs>
Hey guys. Hey. So we just finished our tour. It was about two hours. Quite a bit of nakedness during this art tour. It's Thank art. Italy is art. Um, but yeah, it was really, really good. I actually enjoyed it. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm not an art person, but when we plan this trip, we make sure that you know something <laughs> each of us, something each of us can enjoy. And Sam, I've said it before, he is the closet historian. Of would you recommend this place? Yeah, definitely. So Bibbs is looking for some like souvenirs and stuff to get the kids. Found anything nice, love? Sorry? Yes. Found anything nice? Even though we didn't even go to Rome, I really uh, like this, but maybe she finds something to get one. It's all in Italian. I want to get them a book. Or maybe like a, like a coloring set. Like yeah, because like Olivia likes coloring and stuff. That looks nice, huh? Whoa. No way. How does that even fold? It's amazing. Olivia would love that. Oh no, she's going in. No. He's in love. He's in love. <laughs> Hey, hey. Hey, careful. <laughs> Now off to the next tour. So this one is a walking tour, and Sam is ahead. He's got the map. We're in a bit of a rush because it starts in about, I think, two minutes, and probably a good five minutes away. So we are doing some serious, serious power walking right now. Come on, baby, how far? Not long. Hopefully, we can get there. I don't know how you can read minutes. the map. I'm so bad at reading maps. It's a small city. Yeah, it's a small city. <laughs> so. I don't think I can talk much because we're walking so fast. We'll be there in a bit. We are at Museum Academia and we're about to see the, the famous, famous drum roll Michelangelo's David. So we just finished off in the Galleria and we saw the famous Michelangelo's David. The first time my husband's let me look at a naked statue. Uh. <laughs> but it was an absolutely beautiful piece of art. I think the history of it, the history behind it is what just really learning makes that. it. Yeah. I feel like you don't get that if you go on like a tour by yourself. If I went to a museum by myself, I don't think I would have understood it. Yeah, you'd have to like read all the little signposts yeah. and everything. But a tour guide explains it so well. Not that I'm selling tour guides, but I just think it makes such a difference if you do get a tour guide and it makes the experience of being in the museum or gallery a lot more, you know, a lot more beneficial and you learn so much more. So we're on the walk again. You don't even need a car, you can pretty much walk anywhere, right? Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really small, but there's so much to see. So much culture. Also got these earpieces as well. So we can hear what the tour guide is saying because obviously there's so many people, it's quite loud. So we've got these and she's just describing the area on our way now to the next spot which is the cathedral.
It's a wedding day. Make we celebrate, go. Make we celebrate, go. To make you dance, dance. And make you move, move. Make you dance, dance. And make you move, move. Hey, guys. Hey. So, we have come back from tour number two. Thanks, Sam. I really appreciate my amazing husband who just loves history and culture and walking. Like but yeah. 20,000 steps <laughs> or even more. We've done like our steps for a week. But, but guys, yeah, I was really tired. Good. It was really, really, it was good. really, really good. So we have changed because we're heading out to dinner mm -hmm. really soon. But we thought, you know, we'd just have a little, you know, chatty bit where we share with you some of the things we covered in our quiet time and just some of the things we've been reflecting on lately. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it's just been so helpful for us. And hopefully, you know, it can mm -hmm. help any of you guys out there as well. But we thought we'd do something a little different where we pick a topic. Sometimes we just do that as well for studying. So especially if it's a topic we feel we need to grow in more. Mm, we pick mm. that topic, do it as an individual study, and then when we come together, we discuss it yeah. and kind of just bounce ideas off each other. Mm. And that's what I believe a Christian yeah. marriage should be like. You know, iron sharpens yeah. iron. And um, yeah, that's what really works for us. Mm. So a topic that we were focusing on this week is attitudes and thoughts. And I think that's just generally important for spiritual life, but been so important for us as a married couple, especially as we approach five years of marriage. And mm. that's been something I feel we've been challenged with quite a lot, but we've grown in and, you know, you never stop learning about. So we kind of came back and revisited that topic. I'd love to share with you guys what we learned. And some of the scriptures we found that are really helpful in terms of helping us adjust the way we think that we've been meditating on yeah. is what's the word in Philippians Philippians I yeah I think so this one's really good because so I'll read this one, quite a long one. and now <laughs> dear brothers and sisters one final thing fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable you know I, I think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise don't think about lies misconceptions you know is this is this true fix your mind on pure um, honourable things, you know, mm -hmm. always think about the positives and what is true and, and, you know, don't listen to, you know, lies of the enemy about your uh, relationships. So oh, true. Yeah, what and about the other The ones? other scriptures is Romans, which talks about not copying the world, yeah. the, world the customs and behaviours of this world, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Um, and that's so, so important because you have to let God renew your mind yeah, if you're yeah. going to ultimately see changes happen. And that goes hand in hand with Pray. prayer. So I think we bypass the whole point that we're meant yeah. to come to God and communicate with him and speak to him. And, you know, he's a good father. He's there. He wants to talk to us. You know, the enemy's always around, prowling around like we're all in looking for someone to kill, steal and destroy. And he's looking to pull our hearts away from each other, pull our hearts away from our spouse. Yeah. So to change our thinking, we ultimately have to, you have know, to guard our hearts. Yeah, guard exactly. Our hearts. Guard yeah. our hearts. And yeah. not just praying, you know, God yeah. changed my spouse, no, changed no. my husband, changed my wife. But sometimes just asking God, you know, like Sam said, with a little bit of humility and saying, God, you know, help me to see truth yeah. and yeah. help me to, um, you know, if it's me, help me to change mm. and just help me to see my spouse the same mm. way that Christ sees them. So I hope this helps and we need to get ready for dinner. Some you know. grub! I'm hungry! Mm -hmm. I'm hungry baby! Yeah. Bye! <laughs> so we are off to dinner. How we're walking. How we're always walking really fast. We have to go home, do a quick change. This is our evening attire. And look, it's like the evening time, it's still so sunny here. Some baby's here. This is our last night. I feel like time has gone so quickly. We packed so much into this trip, a lot of sightseeing. And what kind of food is this one? Uh, this one's good for meat and also for uh, meat. Yeah. The local pasta. Another one with really good reviews. My husband, so you have to Try look. not to run over. <laughs> not run get over. run over in this place. Um, yeah. So this one apparently is really good for steak. Which way? Which way? This way. I think the great thing about this this holiday is that you don't actually need a car. So if you come to Florence, do not get a car. I think a few people get one and completely regret it. But you don't need one at all. Everything is within walking distance. I don't think I can talk much longer because we're about to do some more power walking. Be there in a bit. Thank you. 
Just in time. Literally just in time. Everything has been just in time. So eight o'clock reservation. It's, I think it's just gone like eight o'clock. And look, Sam's definitely got the reservation. Yeah. I see your name, baby. I see your name. Well, that's not how you spell it, but how close enough. How do you spell it? S A N. <laughs> <laughs> Spoke his name wrong. Um, it's funny, another couple came in to try and get a table, and they were like, I'm sorry, do you have a reservation? They said no. So we have no tables like 10 or 11. So this place is actually very popular. Oh, yeah, great reviews. Wait, you got it from the UK? Yeah, yeah, I was, like, I was at work and I rang them up. I was like, um, Can I get a table for eight? They're like, Okay. It's not very clear. Not speak up, speak up. What name? I was like, Samuel. was like, Damua. I was like, Sam. It was like San, San. Look how they spelled his name. They wrote like San. S A N. It's all good. At least we've got a table. Yeah, close enough. Their English is better than my Italian. So. <laughs> yeah, they do really yeah. well. So we have to order and get our grub out. Fiocchetti are little raviolis with pear inside. Then a taleggio cheese sauce and asparagus. Then tagliarini is uh, long pasta with black truffle. I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about Hi right, guys, so Sam's steak has arrived well, that's, that's like bigger than your head <laughs> First time I'm having medium rib. What do you usually have? Medium. I'm not too happy about my husband having this much red meat. But Good. I'll go vegan after this. <laughs> I promise. Really, I will. I promise. And I've got lasagna. Love. It's still alive, babe. Ah, it's moving. <laughs> Oh my gosh, not the biggest meat eater, but if I go out and eat, I'm the kind of person to say I want it well done. I know not everyone agrees with that. Sam likes his medium usually, right? I'm well done, because I just want to see no blood. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna do a little poll and see what you guys are who eat meat, whether you're medium, medium rare. I think Sam will help me out with everything in between. We'll get to see what other people like. So we're gonna enjoy this meal, our last night in Florence, and we'll see you soon. And here's my beautiful wife in her natural habitat. Lasagna all day, baby. What does that taste like? Set my 